Hey guys, Jack here, and today we've got some very exciting news. The code to disable the force field has been cracked and we can now access the phantom bow. And I wanted to put a little video together showing you guys from start to finish how you can unlock it for yourselves. First things first, you're going to have to meet a specific set of requirements to access the elevator that takes you down to the secret phantom facility. Requirement number one, you need to have completed all of the previous Phantom Program assignments. This means Phantom Prospect, Phantom Trainee and finally Phantom Initiate. And we'll get back to why you need those assignments in a second. Requirement number two, you need to have found at least one of the secret Final Stand dog tags and have a minimum of three other people to go in the elevator with that are each wearing a different secret Final Stand dog tag. There are four secret dog tags in total and these are found in game on the new final stand maps. You'll find these dog tags hidden in tiny white boxes scattered around the levels. If you find one of the boxes slash it with your knife and it will reveal a dog tag that you can interact with. Once you've done that you've now unlocked that specific dog tag. These are quite hard to find because they're so small and spawn in many locations on each level. A lot of people have used this image album created by Death3D and HJP to help them find the dog tags on ranked and official servers. It shows you the most common spawn locations on each level and is linked in the description below if you want to use it as a reference. This is the most tedious part of the process but once you've found at least one of these you're onto the home stretch. Once you've met these two requirements, join a ranked or official Hangar 21 server with three friends who each have a different final stand dog tag. Make sure you all have a different secret dog tag equipped on the left side and the phantom prospect dog tag equipped on the right side. When you're in the server before you deploy you need to customise your character and equip the phantom camouflage on your weapon and also on your soldier. This is very important. Now you're in game, head over to the dark elevator at the back right of the hangar and the top of the service tunnel where the jeep spawns. Before you go into the elevator, double check with your friends that you're each wearing a different secret dog tag. On this occasion, Burrock is wearing the Hangar 21 dog tag, Triple E is wearing the Giants dog tag, Niminyel is wearing the Hammerhead dog tag and I am wearing the Whiteout dog tag. So we're each wearing a different secret Final Stand dog tag on the left side and we're all wearing the Phantom Prospect dog tag on the right side. Once again, notice how we've all got the Phantom camo on our soldiers and on our guns. When the last person enters the elevator, the button will activate and you can press it to go down. If you meet all of the requirements, you'll be scanned in the elevator and eventually reach the phantom room with the force field and the number pad. But what's the code? Check this out. On each of the new final stand maps, there is Russian Morse code being broadcast from specific hidden locations. On Whiteout, it's this flashing red light under the globe near the D point. It says 1290, everything is normal, transmission begins, control program completed. On Hammerhead, inside the ice boat is a beeping Morse code signal. It says 429, leave tomorrow morning, start preparations for a new expedition. On Hangar 21, on the control box of the satellite on top of the mountain, the button is flashing. It says 397648, we need reinforcements waiting for your response. And finally, on Giants of Corellia by this rock near the F flag, a small antenna sticking out of the snow says 970, factory all right, Walker is not ready yet, they did not suspect, will wait. Now if you take the numbers from these Russian Morse codes, you get this sequence. 1290, 429, 397648, 970. And this is in fact the code to disable the force field and enter the room. Input the code into the number pad and you'll be granted access to the room. Once you're in there, simply walk up to the bow and pick it up. There you go, the phantom bow has now been unlocked for you and you can use it in any official or ranked match. But wait, there's more down here too. If you climb up onto the cabinet here, you'll find a small document. Interact with that document and it's going to unlock the phantom operative assignment which when completed rewards you with the phantom program dog tag which still might actually unlock something else or produce an easter egg. However it looks like the assignment in battle log is bugged at the moment but you can still check your progress in game at the end of the round to see how far along you are. And what about that second keypad in the room? Well as it turns out you can just use it to activate and deactivate the force field by inputting the code again and that's all it serves a purpose for. Finally, one interesting tweet from DiceJJJU, he stated this, those who have seen the door at the back of the room, you can't open it currently in Phantom Program 4. So does this mean that soon we will be able to open it? Will there be more updates to the Phantom Program? Will there be more DLC for Battlefield 4? Well, based on the fact that the premium calendar for Battlefield 4 was recently extended to December 2015, I think it's safe to say that there's plenty more new content on the way. 
So there we go guys, that's how you unlock the phantom bow. Good luck out there. And also, if you go back up in the elevator, you'll be treated with some swanky celebration music. A big thanks to everyone in the community that took part in the search. I'll see you in the next one.